This is a practice pad. It's great because it makes minimal sound. You can practice at almost any hour. Your neighbors won't complain. It's perfect for getting your chops down. But today, boys and girls, we have a very special occasion. We have the arrival of a DW drum set. Let's take a look. First, we're gonna go with Big Bertha here. Assume this is the bass drum, and it is heavy as heck. Oh, I think I blew my O-ring. Okay, I just wanna say thank you to the Sweetwater team for bringing this over to me. Thank you, Paul Eckert over at Sweetwater for the amazing customer service. I wanna tell you about Sweetwater, first of all. I've been using Guitar Center since I was 14 years old, about the time I started playing drums. And uh, <clears throat> I've always noticed that when you go into a Guitar Center, uh, I mean, several locations I've been to, you could walk around there for 30, 45 minutes, maybe sometimes an hour, and still not be acknowledged by anybody on the sales floor. And uh, some of the stuff's been out there, it's been played around, it's been beat. And that's usually the item that you're gonna leave with. What I like about Sweetwater is most of their stuff, almost all their stuff, is brand new, in the box, never been played. And that's why I chose to draw, uh, that's why I chose Sweetwater to buy my drum set. And uh, what caught me off guard is within 12 hours of buying a $360 floor tom, I received a phone call from Paul Eckert over at Sweetwater. And he told me that he was boxing it up and shipping it or getting it all set and sent it out and just wanted to you know, answer any questions that I might have. Now this was only a $360 item. It was my first purchase with Sweetwater. I was gonna buy the rest of the kit later. And I have never, ever, ever had anything like that happen to me before, being a musician and buying stuff from various music stores. So that changed me right away. I'm a Sweetwater fan from now on. I'm buying all my hardware from Sweetwater, buying my cymbals from Sweetwater, and uh, I'll buy my next DW drum kit from Sweetwater. Anyhow, check out Sweetwater, give them a chance, <clears throat> and uh, let's get to the unboxing. This is the bass drum, I assume, and maybe uh, the snare and a couple floor toms in here, or uh, tom-toms. Let's see here. <clears throat> I'm really excited to get into this. It's been at my house for almost a week. I've just had a very busy work week. And, uh, finally getting into uh, opening up my brand new DW drum set. Let's put this box cutter away. that down so everybody can see. Okay, this is a 22 inch DW bass drum. So right off the bat, <clears throat> right on top of the packaging is your 22 inch drum head. And this is brand spanking new, sealed, taped, stapled. So that's beautiful. So let's open this bad boy up because I'm gonna have to install this anyhow. The DW kit that I went with is the Design Series. The Design Series uh, comes dismantled, so you are going to have to put your drum heads on. And these drum heads, if you want to change the color, which I'm going to do, you know, they come in standard white. I'm going to buy black because I think the black will look really nice with my Tobacco Burst drum kit. Oh, there's a couple drum heads in here. So they got a, looks like a four tom in here too. Right. Packaged really well, really well. So that's your, that's your DW drum head for the front. This has the DW logo down there. This is the uh, inside of the drum head. And uh, both drum heads are made by Remo. So DW contracts with Remo for these. And uh, I'm gonna go with black. I think that's gonna look really nice. So I did buy a black one from Sweetwater. It's about $48, uh, free shipping. So you just pay the tax on there and the 48 bucks. And uh, that's gonna look really nice with a tobacco burst finish. 
on this kit. So I'll set that off to the side. This looks like the uh, this looks like a residence head resident residence head for the uh, I believe that's a four tom. Yeah, one of the four toms. Again, made by Remo. Has the DW logo up front. I'm gonna replace a lot of the drum heads that come with this kit because uh, I'm gonna uh, <laughs> I'm just a perfectionist. So I'm gonna go. Not that these kits, not that these heads are bad. They're made by Remo. But I like the dampeners that are built into the, uh, the DW heads that are made by Remo that come with the collector series and also the performance series. So I'll more than likely go with those or I'll replace it with the pinstripe series. I gotta tell you, they packaged this really nice. DW did a great job. I'm gonna get the camera over here so you can see. Check this out. See the padding on the sides here, the kick, very nice. These are your pillows for the inside of the kick, but just really, really beautiful packaging. You know, you can tell that they just really take care of their products. Okay, let's see if I can get this out. This is the Big Bertha. <laughs> Two pillows for your bass drum. You know, they have the Velcro. These are really nice, easy to place. So nice of DW to include these. They even have the little, uh, as you can see, Got the little DW label on those. So really clean, really nice Velcro. Set that off to the side here. Let's get this bad boy out of here. This is gonna be the tough part <laughs> with one person. Usually it's better to have one person hold the box down and one, oh, here's the rings, okay. <laughs> so. <clears throat> Hoop ring for the bass drum. Oh, that smells good. Nothing like the smell of fresh wood. Look at that. Black all the way on the outside. That's beautiful. I'm gonna set that up here against the wall. Let's bag out of here. These are some hardware right here. I assume this might be the, uh, the kick legs, so we'll get into that. Take a look at the packaging as I take layers off here. Got my tom here, floor tom resting inside. The other tom will be in the other box. I got two more toms actually in there. But you can see how they go to the expense and time of padding everything really nice for transportation. I'm gonna take this 10 inch tom out. This is a 10 inch tom tom. And just Tom. <laughs> I'm about to show you the finish on this, how beautiful these kits are. This is the Tobacco Burst. Wow. That is beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? That's Tobacco Burst. Floor Tom. Get this bad boy out. And what you'll see on packaging, which is nice, saves up space, <clears throat> is the rim here is on attached to the other one. So that helps save up space right there. So you'll have to take that off and apply it to the bottom. I got the uh, tuxedo drum drum cases for these two. Try to keep it in perfect condition as possible. Oh, that's attached to the uh, to the rim there. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'll just have to take that off later. But again, look at that finish. Tobacco burst. One of the new colors that they have. Really nice. Set this one over off to the side here. On the DW kit for your floor tom, they put them both on top of each other, just for packaging, just for shipping to save space. So we'll take those off. It'll separate from this plastic protection uh, when we put our drum heads on. 
Look how beautiful that is. Certificate. I don't know if you can see that from that angle inside each tom. I have that in there. Or DW puts that in there. Now let's get Big Birth out of here. This is your kick. 22 inch DW kick. <laughs> oh, it's tough from that kind of that kind of angle to get out. Uh, there's another hoop for the other side. So I'll set that off to the side here. Let me get this box out of the way. Cut! And we're back. <laughs> this DW kit is North American Maple. It's my first maple drum set. I think my other my Pearl kit, my Pearl World Series was a, a birch. Nothing wrong with that, but I've always wanted a nice North American maple. And coming over to the DW family, I got it. I'm now opening up one of the hoops. You can see it's black on the outside. That's going to go beautiful with the tobacco burst. It's a really beautiful finish. Set that next to the other bass drum hoop here. And now we have Big Bertha. That's my nickname for this bass drum. This thing is 22 inch. This is beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at the finish on this. Let me get this out of here. Just amazing. Tobacco burst. Tags on it still. You won't see that on a lot of equipment at Guitar Center. It's, um, nice little emblem there for DW. And what you're going to find in your DW kits, which is really nice, is a certificate. I'm going to take this camera here so you can get the angle. Check that out. So that's the design series. You get a certificate in each shell. It's really nice. <clears throat> yeah, that's gonna be beautiful. I'll set that up. And of course, you know, the hoops are black. So those will go on there. And uh, you know, you saw the white head, but I'm gonna put a black head there. I think the black head's gonna complement the tobacco burst really well. And you can buy that head separately from uh, DW's website or Sweetwater. Go to Sweetwater. Okay, this is that little hardware box that came with the bass drum. So let's crack this sucker open. I put a towel in here because there's, you know, styrofoam and dust getting all over. But who cares? I'll vacuum when that's all put together. Let's take a look and see what's in this little, little miniature box. And as I suspected, hardware. These are claw hooks for the bass drum. So we got the uh, DW drum key. And in here, you have some tension rods right up front. And then underneath, those are memory locks for the, for the tom. So I got five mem uh, memory locks. And then these are the tension rods. Tension rods, these are longer. These will be for the bass drum. Smaller tension rods, these will be for the floor tom. These are for the bass as well. Okay, this I think is the uh, tom. It's my guess, let's take a look. And what you want to notice, usually Sweetwater, they send a, a bag of candy with every shipment. And you're noticing in the last couple bag or packages, or uh, there hasn't been any candy. Perfectly good explanation for that. That's because these are sealed boxes straight from DW, distributed by Sweetwater. So Sweetwater has not opened these. They have not let anybody else play these dr drums before. As you can see, you're getting a DW box. 
that is stapled and sealed shut. The only thing Sweetwater has done is slap their tape right on top of it. So that's the nice thing about buying from Sweetwater. If you get your drums that are in a completely different box, there's other stuff thrown in there, it's not a DW box, they've been opened. You're buying possibly a demo kit or a kit that's been, you don't know what's happened to it. It's been opened. So that's the nice thing about this. There is a box over there straight from Sweetwater in a Sweetwater box. I assume the candy will be in there, but I'm not looking for candy, I'm looking for drums. Be very careful with the box cutter not to go deep. I know these are packaged really well, but still, on a drum kit that's over $2,000 before taxes and fees, you don't want to cut it up with a box cutter. <clears throat> okay. Ah, very nice. This is a floor tom. What we have here right up on the bat, right off the bat, is floor tom legs. You got three of them right there. And the hardware on this is phenomenal. This is not your, you know, skimpy uh, light aluminum. DW spares no expense on their hardware. And as you know, they started out a hardware company before they were getting into the drums. Technically, DW, they started in 1972 by Don Lombardi, and he was just doing lessons, instruction, drum instruction. And then a 17-year-old kid came by to improve or unlearn his chops, and that was John Good. He came by at the age of 17, and funny story, Don Lombardi said out of all my students, uh, or I got a lot of good students, but I don't think you're going to be one of them. And to this day, it's 2021, John Good is vice president of DW Drums, so he helped build it. Oh, <clears throat> DW got into building drum sets later after a famous rocker by the name of Tommy Lee from Motley Crue stopped over at their shop and played a drum kit that was set up in John Good's office. And from then on, they could get, or they uh, changed their business model and got into not only hardware, but drums. And they did it good. Okay, this is the 10-inch Tom, really nice. So this one, as you can see, has the drum head on there, resonance head on the bottom, Remo drum head by DW on the top. I'm going to replace that, as I said before. Uh, the ones that you'll see on the collector series, uh, really nice. They, you know, these, these heads are probably, I'm guessing they could retail for 12 bucks. I'm going to go for the, uh, the, the 18 to $20, pay the extra money. You get the sectional dampers that are on the side here. So John Good talks about that in one of his videos. But, uh, it's got the certificate, really nice finish. I'm going to set that right off onto the side here with the other toms. <clears throat> and there is a snare drum in here. Let's get the camera over so you can take a look at that. Please protect the side of the tom on shipment. 5x14 snare drum. Snare drum's made in Taiwan. Uh, the other series, your performance series and your collector series is made in Oxnard, California, which is only two hours away from my house. And I'm waiting to go to get a tour of the factory as soon as the COVID crisis is over with. Right now they're not giving tours, except if you're Mick Fleetwood or Jim Keltner, who are sponsored DW artists. Here's the snare in here. Let's get let's crack and get cracking on this one. Get this box out of the way. I'm a big fan of the collector series snare. So for Christmas or my birthday or anything, you guys know what to get me. <laughs> Just kidding. This is perfectly fine. All right. Let's get this boy out of here. I'm glad that this was packaged in the, in the middle of that tom because there's not really any padding at all in there. So it's a good thing that DW packages that in the middle of the 
Tom, let me just open. All right. Take a look at this. Nice snare loop chain on there. Bottom head by Remo, top head by Remo. Has the tuning key counts on here. So you can go from one to two, three to four, or five to six, which is nice. It's a batter head. And with the tobacco burst finish, oh, it's nice as my fingerprint that was on there disappeared. So it's kind of like a reflective finish there. It's really nice. I can't prove it is, but that's what happened just now. But take a look at the tobacco burst finish on that. So that'll match the whole kit. Usually your snare is the odd man out. It won't match the finish unless you buy a custom kit or a full kit from DW. So that's really sharp. I'm gonna set that off here by my subwoofer. And uh, last but not least is the other floor tom. Let's open that one up. Actually, I'll just bring both boxes over. This is the Sweetwater box. This will have some hardware in it your, and possibly your candy, if that's what you wanna go for. <laughs> and this is the uh, additional floor tom that I ordered. I was a little nervous because there's a little pressure ding in the side of the box here, so I hope nothing is damaged. Again, sealed box. Very pleased with that. Okay. Oh, nice. Sweetwater t-shirt. Thanks a lot, Paul Eckert at Sweetwater. Free Sweetwater t-shirt. Okay, so Sweetwater did, Paul did open this up when I was on the phone with him packaging. That was what it was all about when he called me. Here's my little Sweetwater candy. I'll give that to my daughter. And a little Sweetwater brochure here, which is really nice. Sweetwater gives a two year, oh, Sweetwater sticker. Okay, stick that on my daughter's skateboard. <clears throat> they give you a two year warranty with their equipment, which is nice. <clears throat> Three very sturdy four tom legs. Stick that there. All right, here's their. This is our six shell that we're looking at today. It's a six piece DW kit in tobacco first burst. This is the additional floor tom to round out the kit. Take a look at it. Yep, it's just fine. So even though there was that little pressure ding, uh, that was nothing. A little dust on that part, I think, or whatever, but. Yep, nice brand new drum head. Not one drumstick mark on there, by the way. Try to find that at Guitar Center. So that is our six piece Tobacco Burst DW Designer Kit series. And uh, my next video will show it completely built. <clears throat> Thanks for joining me today. And oh, oh, we got one more box, sorry. We got my Sweetwater box here. Let's take a look at that. This up here. This is the Sweetwater box. I have no idea what's in this. So it could be miscellaneous hardware. I think we I have no idea. Let's take a look at what we got. Oh, nice. This is what I was telling you about earlier. Okay, more Sweetwater literature. Another Sweetwater sticker. Candy. But this is very important when you're buying a DW Designer Series kit. Right here. Tom Clamp accessories. They're about $40 each. Your drum kit will not come with this, so you, you must buy this separately. So I have two Toms, therefore I have two Tom holders. And these will attach to a, a 9000 series. All my hardware is going to be DW9000. Not gonna, not gonna scamp on this set at all. Oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> so when you're unboxing this, don't forget to hydrate. Stay cool.
All right, everybody, next video will show the set complete. Paul Eckert over at Sweetwater, I wanna thank you again. Paul wants to see the drum set completed, so I'll get the drum heads on, I'll tune them up, and uh, that'll be the next video. But wanna thank everybody. If you like what you're seeing, you know, you can subscribe or don't. Doesn't matter, I have a day job. So thanks a lot, take care. FedEx truck just pulled up to my house, so I'm eagerly waiting to see if this is my DW drum set. Come on, come on.